Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a Nigerian content creator based in London. In today's episode, we are going to be making the TikTok trending Dalguna coffee, aka Korean coffee. I saw this video first of all on Destiny Ute's page and then I love coffee guys I love coffee so once I saw it I was like yes and then it had ice cubes in it it had sugar everything I just like I went on TikTok saw some re recipes checked YouTube you know just saw people making it I was like yeah 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 definitely gonna make this today the ingredients are really really simple guys that's the reason I'm even going to make it in three different ways instant coffee for one portion of it you're going to need either two tablespoons or three tablespoons of instant coffee i'm going to use three for sugar so you need two or three tablespoons so it depends on the amount of instant coffee you're putting that's the same amount of sugar you put so since we're going to use three tablespoons per portion i'm going to use three tablespoons of sugar as well the next thing we'll need is hot water so three tablespoons of hot water as well per portion so that's going to be nine tablespoons of hot water for us hot milk to be honest i prefer this thing cold so i'm going to make one of my options with hot milk and then the other two are going to be with cold milk the hot milk is going to be about three quarter of the glass you're using or just however you want the milk levels to be the next ingredient is ice cubes so it depends on how cold you want it i'll probably have three ice cubes per glass of the ones that i'm going to use ice cubes and they're going to be cold and then the other one obviously will you'll be warm so no ice cubes the last thing um i wish i had oreos guys but i don't have oreos what i have here is hobnobs so we're going to use hobnobs as the last ingredient so whatever biscuit whatever chocolate you think you would like to put in yours i wish i even had cinnamon as well but i don't so i'm just going to use hobnobs we'll break it um, in big chunks and then use breaking little chunks as well to sprinkle over the third one yeah so come on guys and let's make a dalgona coffee <laughs> Ideally, I should have a whisk or a mixer or something like that, but I don't have one and it was too late for me to find one yesterday. So I'm going to have to use my energy today. Mixing is going to take longer, but yeah, we have to do this. So let's do this. I've just gotten hot water. From here, it will be easier to take the tablespoons of hot water. So before that, we're going to go into our coffee. I want to just mention the fact that this drink actually reminds me of Bailey's, guys, which is one of my favorite drinks in the world. So yeah, no wonder I really, really just got excited when I saw the videos of this dark now coffee. So yeah, let's continue. The coffee. This is going to make for three portions appropriately. We're also going to do the same thing with the hot water. Oh my guys, I've turned and turned and turned and it's still looking like this, but we'll have to keep turning just so the color will change and the magic will happen. Guys, I just remembered I didn't even put the sugar inside. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to put sugar now. So let's put the correct amount of sugar, which should be about nine of these actually. Guys, it's changing color a bit, but man, it's a lot of staring. I wish I had a mixer set on. Yeah, we 
are getting there. You guys, this is, this is so exhausting. Let me show you the color now. <laughs> yes, I'm literally going to sit down and keep staring. Let me just sit down in our kitchen chair. Oh dear. I don't know if you can see, but it's really changing. <sighs> Let's keep staring. Damn! <laughs> I think this looks like the color I was seeing. Oh. One more minute of staring and I'll stop. I wish I could even use this hand to stay because this one has even tried. But this. I need. Thirty more seconds. So I'm going to stop there now. This is how it's come to be. I think that works totally. So for the first one, we'll put it in this glass, and then we're going to be using warm milk with this one. So this is the milk. We'll put um, three quarter of the glass in here. Mm, yeah, all this works. Cold milk. This one, we're not going to use any ice cubes. We just put the drink, the coffee thing. So this is the first one guys, I'm just going to move it aside and then we'll do the second one. So the second one as I said I'm going to use ice cubes on that one. Since we're going to have ice cubes in this one I've just put it to almost half of it, just a bit above half of the glass just so that so we'll see how it looks after I've cooked. One, two, three ice cubes. You can see it's got into three quarter of the glass, so there's no point filling it out. And then now we put our mix in this one. This is the second one. I'm going to move it down to the space down there where the other one is. Three of it should be just fine. thing would be to break these biscuits into little bits.
taste it so I know which one was the best out of these three. This is so yummy. It still has that coffee bitter aftertaste, but the milk in this, because normally when I drink coffee, I don't, I don't take it with milk. The milk in this is just bringing it to that baby's level. Yeah, I love it so much, guys. Let's go get the second one. Okay, I'll just use a teaspoon. Ice cubes are just dancing inside. Just gonna grab some. So this has a more bitter taste because it hasn't mixed well, but the temperature is so brilliant. This is the best dessert ever. So we're gonna get the third one now. So it has drama with everything biscuity as i said you can use oreos oreos will actually come out good because the contrast of black and white is just perfect i'm that kind of person now when i get to take ice cream I always like ice cream that has nuts or something inside. So I did I didn't mind putting almond or raisins and stuff in this kind of mix. The one that has the biscuit one. I think it's my favorite to be honest. So guys, that's it for my three ways to make the Korean coffee, the Dalgona, and I love them. I hope you try them at home, and if you try them and put a picture on Instagram, please tag me at Metro Gypsy. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell right beside it. Also click the thumb up button and drop a comment because I love to hear and read from you. See you on the next episode. Bye-bye.